viewers of Sounding Board, and tonight we're going to talk about these dollar store finds. The final fraction. Faction. This is Alpha Team. This is Series 1. They have all these. And they also have monsters. And they also have weapon packs, but tonight we're just going to talk about the figures themselves. Since I bought three of them to open up and see what they look like. So let's start with Sergeant Rock. We know what he likes to do. Yeah. It's always fun to see something interesting on the Dollar Tree shelves. Because you don't get to see that much. Usually you see horribly painted stuff. You don't see semi-quality stuff. They're pretty hollow, so... They have the movement of a Star Wars figure. But they might be pretty durable. Sergeant Ruck comes with a backpack. Let's see. It won't stay. There it goes. And on the picture he has two eyes. This one he has looks like a two cyber a cybernetic and a regular eye. They kind of look like knockoff space marines. And they plug into parts. So I wonder if you buy more packs you can buy more accessories to plug into them. So there's Sergeant Ruck for Alpha Team. Here is Shift. Specialist Shift. She kind of looks like Scarlet. You could probably customize her into an original Scarlet. And she has, let's open up and find out. Kind of looks like Carl, Carla, Cara Dunn too. Oh, she has ninja weapons. As you can see, they're held together by two bolts in the back. And like core figures, the rest of her armor or isn't painted. So I wonder if she's painted out based off the Baroness now, looking at her from all sides. Oh, her swords come out of her backpack, actually. Plug in underneath her hair. Mm. Uh, maybe. It looks like she doesn't, she is very limited in what you can plug into her. She might be able to pick up some handguns and that's about it. And here's the alien, Khan. This is the bigger of them, so I thought he'd be kind of cool to show off. He has a fish looking bioweapon. And he looks like something out of a Japanese anime of Resident Evil. He looks like he needs some dry brushing. Can he hold his gun? That's a real test. Oh, he can't. Uh, his gun? It's too thick for his hands. So basically, he's a brute. So he's a soldier. So I guess you don't really need guns on him. 
he can go around beating up bad guy, the guys. Ugh. And they. Too, 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 too. But since they're a dollar, you could actually army build a whole bunch of these guys. And actually, you could probably put some joints in some of these characters. And repaint some of them to look like Space Marines, actually. Either from Aliens or from Warhammer, even. Let's see if she can hold her weapons. Oh, she can. I wonder if this was a knockoff or a kickstarter that went nowhere. You know, one of these little, little, little ideas that someone had, had some money involved in it, and all of a sudden the funding fell through, or everyone backpedaled out that they made too many that they couldn't sell the rest of them. It's hard to say. Or they got uh, this... Uh, dollar store uh, license because it was easy to put a low in, low price low price point action figure on the shelf to compete with Star Wars maybe but they're not bad looking figures they look like they'd hold up on a lot of play and you could buy a whole bunch of them cheaply and, and build your armies out of them She'd probably be a shelf sitter. But you sell a lot of this guy. And next time, we'll do a part two and I'll show you some of the other ones. I wish you had knee joints. And I'll get a weapon pack next time I'm over there. But until next time, this is Sounding Board, signing off.